Hey guys, hope y'all doing alright today. Uh, I got a video I'm fixing to put out. I'm working on it right now. A little section here is going to go along with the video that I'm going to put out. Um, what I want to talk to you about is flounder fishing. <laughs> In this video, I, 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 I don't really get a chance to go over everything like I really wanted to, so that's the reason why I wanted to do this portion of the video, kind of a how-to, quick setup type deal um, on what I use, my gear, all that stuff, uh, before you get to watch this video. Because I'm new to flounder fishing. Um, I've been saltwater fishing about three years, so this whole I'm a long time bass fisherman, uh, you know, freshwater fisherman. I don't get down to uh, saltwater and fish that much. When I do, I just don't know exactly the whole, I can't get my head wrapped around everything. So I had a guy take me out and he's helped me out, uh, get me started on what, what I need to get. Um, this guy is one of my subscribers. He wanted to help me out. Um, get me on the right track so i'm going to show you what he you know our setup was he had a little bit different rod and reel setup but was using the exact same setup as far as how we fished and what we fished with so um just going to show you my rod and reel uh this is what i used all day and just it's it's cheap but it works great okay this is my Cast King Royal Legend. Um, I use this down there. It worked fantastic. I'm probably going to get a couple more of these to use down there. It worked, like I said, fantastic. Um, I've gone over this bit, over this reel before. I'll give you the specs. Um, I'll put a link to that video up here. I did an unboxing and I did a uh, kind of a review on the video. So I'll put both those video links up here in the left hand side of the top corner of the screen. Now, as far as the rod goes, this is a cheap rod. Nothing special about it. Um, you can buy these all day long at Walmart, but it works great. I've never had a problem. I've, I fought good fish with this thing. I fought sharks with this thing. Never had a problem with it. Um, I like this low profile. Now, he had he had like an Abu. He had a Shimano. I can't remember what the name of it was, but he had the Shimano. Um, it was the rounded kind, kind of like the old Abu Garcia reels, um, but I like the low profile. I like getting my hand on here where I can really grip the thing and, and you know, fight the fish. That's just me. Um, but this is just the old light, Berkeley Lightning Rod. Um, seven pound, medium heavy uh, casting rod. Um, goes from anywhere from half ounce to an ounce, 10 to 20 pound uh, line. So what I got on this reel is 20 pound cast king braid. That's what I got on this guy was using the berkeley pro spec chrome uh, as premium mono i'm gonna tell you something guys that stuff is strong I, I i couldn't believe how strong it was we got hung up i mean where we was fishing at is just like you cast if you cast five times without getting hung up you're doing great no kidding man i was we was sometimes it was almost every cast or every other cast we would we would, we would have to retie because we'd have, we'd break off i mean that's just where the flounder's at that's where you're going to catch them at what the line he was using was mono now i asked him i said what are you using we're both using this this vanish four carbon 20 pound that's what we was using um for our leaders which is this part right here from the from the swivel from the swivel right here you know you got 12 to 18 inches of leader down to your four alt kale hook that's a four alt kale hook and that's what you want to use that's well, that's what we was using uh we we like this size so works good for the for the pit for the pogies we was using we was using anywhere from a four to six inch pogie uh manhaden so it really really worked good i just i just want to share this with you real quick um, this is on this, like I say, on this rod and reel is 20 pound casking braid, but I will be getting some of that. Um, I put a link to that line. There's 4,700 yards on that on that reel. 
12 pound 12 pound line and i will be getting some of that that is some of the best line i've ever seen as far as strength it's it's salt water rated so it's it's good stuff um it's designed by pros and captains so it it works trust me it, it works i mean i would never see his line break but his, his, his you know it, it would break from maybe from his knot down um or just you know maybe from the leader down now i would i would break off i would break off from here you know right above the knot or either i would break off just below um the swivel down is where i would usually break off but enough of that um but what i got here is we would use anywhere from depending on the tide current from a half ounce weight to up to one ounce weight that's that's the and we was fishing anywhere from you know two or three feet out to 18 feet because we was fishing boat docks is what we was fishing you know what you need is some four out four out kale hooks um these i bought these in bulk these are a, a hundred pack of uh this brand is bill fisher size seven swivels um they're rated a 150 pound uh test or 150 pound strength so um you know it take 150 pounds worth of pressure to break them and that you can get a little bit bigger or smaller if you want but that's this is the size i chose uh they're like eight dollars and something at the local bait shop down there which is dutchman's creek bait shop and the kale hooks i bought uh there's 40 in here uh eagle brand eagle claw brand uh for 8.49 a piece so uh for this 40 pack so that'll last a while all right guys so if y'all ever used a carolina rig then you know you know how to flounder fish basically um it's that simple the only thing you gotta realize is when you're flounder, fi flounder fishing with live bait whenever you feel that thump or that it's hard to explain sometimes you'll feel a thump sometimes you'll be just dragging along and then you'll just feel weight whenever you do you'll see me do this in the video and i'll mark the spot for you so you'll so you'll recognize it but whenever i got that that bite i dropped the rod and whenever i dropped the rod i just let that fish take that bot that that uh pogey because what it does just pretend my my hand is a is a is a pogey a six inch pogey it's going to chomp down on on my hand fish uh bait about halfway up um this is what it was doing it would chomp down on about halfway up and if you pull on it if you go ahead and set the hook now it's going to pull it out of its mouth if you wait and let it give it anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute i was i left i left mine i counted on the video it was 35 seconds is what i left it and what i did was i actually just I smashed the thumb, button, the thumb button and just let the fish lay there with it. Because what it's going to do is it's going to take and turn, get that bait in its mouth until it until it gets the whole thing in its mouth. And I wish I had... I wish I had something else to explain it with. But once it gets the whole thing in its mouth, after 30 to 45, 50 seconds, maybe a minute, you're good if you can pull up if you can pull up on that rod and you feel still feel that weight after that long go ahead and set the hook artificials you ain't got to do that as soon as you feel them you can set the hook but on a live bait you got to let them have it you got to let them take that bait so i'm not sure they say there's different theories on what the finer does when it's in its mouth some say it's scaling it some say this some say that I really don't know exactly what the what the deal is, but I do know that that it was working for me. Uh, the bait, the, the the bites that I got, I was able to to capitalize and get the fish in. I had two bait, two bites that I know was fish, and I was able to get both of them in. Um, there was a few other bites I was you know kind of up in the air about. I went ahead and set the hook, what nothing there. Uh, best thing I can tell you to do is drop the rod just just if you're holding like this right here and you feel that thump i know it's getting dark guys i'm sorry just drop the rod 
and then you can start just just let that fish have it and after 30 at least 30 seconds i give it at least 30 seconds you pull up you still feel that weight sometimes you actually feel the head shaking a little bit you feel that let it back down and then once it once a few more seconds pass go ahead and try setting the hook if it's there great if it's not oh well so you know that's that's what i've learned so far i'm no flounder fishing fisherman i'm learning so uh, I'm a learning flounder fisherman um, who's trying to make videos to try to help you guys out who don't know and want to learn. I'm that way. I want to learn. I love, I love learning new different techniques, different ways to fish, and flounder fishing is fun. Um, the, the challenge of them, uh, it's not like bass fishing. Bass fishing, you know, you can you can fish for bass and you usually catch a few flounder fishing same way but you got to be a little more st strategic at it you got to know the tides what when the best time to go with the tide is and that's what i'm learning I'm, I'm learning the technique on letting the fish have it and we actually went back that afternoon to another location and i caught another one the only bite i had but i did catch that fish it was just it was a small one about 12 inches long and i'll show you a quick clip of that I didn't get the the catch on camera, but I got the I got the fish. So I'll show you that real quick, real, real quick clip. So anyway, I hope this was informative for you, guys. Take care. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up for the hard work because I did put a, a lot of work into this. And uh, I hope you like this little instructional video on what I've learned so far. More videos like this are coming your way. I promise. I'm going to hopefully go fish with him the end of August, and. Uh, maybe fish a tournament with him so anyway y'all take care look at that toad Woo! <laughs>